This is why the high-speed railway is a warning for the U.S. 14 years after voters approved a nearly $10 billion bond to start building the rail system that would whisk riders from Los Angeles to San Francisco at a speed of more than 200 miles per hour, many California residents have long since lost track of what is being built where and when or if it will ever be completed. Eventually, it was estimated that it would take until 2020 to complete. But now it's 2022, and so far, California's high-speed rail line is just a few concrete bridges and viaducts strewn across the rural Central Valley. Now the project is decades late and way over budget. To continue the video as soon as possible, just subscribe to our channel for more projects and videos like this. And when you do that, then we can continue and remember first what benefits this railway would have if it was built according to plan. Let's take a look. Oh, we almost forgot the most important thing. We welcome you to the Billion Dollar Projects channel. You probably know that it takes you about six hours to drive from San Francisco to Los Angeles. When you consider that it takes other people just as long to get to some remote location outside their country for vacation, you realize that this is a very long journey between two cities. That's why this railway would be much needed. But there are other reasons why this high-speed railway should be built. One of them is congestion relief. America faces epic congestion in every major metropolitan region of the country, costing $124 billion per year in wasted time and fuel. Road widening projects justified by claims they relieve congestion have only made congestion worse across America. High-speed rail is transformative and can reverse this mess, delivering 200 mile per hour transportation on every train, every day, without delays or congestion ever. The second benefit is the alternative to flying. High-speed rail delivers transportation as an alternative to the flying nightmare. No hassles, no security lines, no delays, and plenty of room to work or play. Flight delays cost America more than $31 billion per year in wasted time. Safety is another benefit. Approximately 43,000 people are killed every year in car accidents in America, and another million more are seriously injured. High-speed rail is the world's safest transportation proven by decades of safe operations. Japan was the first nation to build high-speed rail in 1964 and has since transported 10 billion passengers without a single fatality. France has a similar record with its 30 years of high-speed rail operations, as do several other countries. America must solve the concentration of carbon in the atmosphere. And guess what could solve and reduce current pollution? High-speed railway, of course. Transportation is the single largest source of carbon causing climate change. The American transportation system is the most inefficient on Earth, with the majority of the country driving gas-guzzling single-occupant SUVs hundreds of miles a day around sprawling communities. High-speed rail is the world's greenest form of transportation and can be 100% powered by renewable energy, making it zero-carbon transportation. In any case, a national high-speed rail system will create millions of good-paying jobs, building the infrastructure and system components, managing the rail systems, and operating the stations and related real estate development. So in addition to so many benefits, why was the railway never built, and why is it a king of risk for the country? First of all, high-speed rail construction is too expensive. All large and significant mega-projects generally exceed their budget. And that's not strange because engineers always want to do their job the best they can. However, this project far exceeded its budget. It was initially believed that the project would cost about $35 billion to complete by 2020. Now it is estimated that it would cost an incredible $100 billion to complete work by 2029. And that's not all. Once built, high-speed rail systems are expensive to maintain. Long-run capital renewal requirements include the replacement of rails and train sets as frequently as every 10 years. Rail planners often ignore these capital replacement costs. The California High-Speed Rail Authority is legally required to earn enough revenues to cover its operations and maintenance costs. Passenger revenues probably won't even cover operating costs. Why? Likely, this railway won't get many people out of cars or planes. The most heavily used high-speed rail lines in the world, including those in China, Europe, and Japan, gained their riders from conventional trains, not from cars or airplanes. The United States doesn't have enough conventional train riders for high-speed rail lines to succeed. Another warning is that high-speed railways won't help and may hurt the economy. Studies have found that high-speed trains can generate new economic development near the stations where the trains stop. However, the same studies show that economic development is slow in communities not served by such trains. 
Realistically, to produce actual economic growth, new transportation infrastructure must generate new travel or shipping that wouldn't have taken place without the infrastructure. To generate new travel, a new transportation system must be faster, more convenient, and less expensive than existing systems. High-speed rail fails all these tests, being slower than flying, less convenient than driving, and more expensive than both. And finally, it takes decades to plan and build the high-speed railway. Therefore, construction costs increase and the budget is increased again and again. That is why the results of progress are sometimes barely visible. Well, maybe they should look to other countries that already have such railways and learn from them how to build them. So since the end of the video is coming, share your thoughts with us and write them in the comment section. Drop a like and share the video. Don't forget to turn on the notifications so you never miss more videos like this one. Hope you enjoyed today. Have a great day and meet you soon again.